So, Medzadov of Azerbaijan in red, Ivan Dichko of Kazakhstan in blue. Three three-minute rounds to see us out here in Almaty, Kazakhstan at the AIBA World Boxing Championships. Well, Medjidov will come to do business here. Sent Roberto Camarelli out in the semis. The Italian fighter that is uh, another crowd pleaser here. Out punched Camarelli, sent him to the canvas, and that's the power that Medjidov has available to him. Ditchko, a class act. For a man his size, he's very fast, he's very light. And he's much more on point than Camarelli displayed yesterday. Calculating fighter. Takes some good shots there, though, from Medjidov. Medjidov will have to come in under that guard of Dichko. Crowd in attendance here. All giving it up for Dichko. Of just biting at the bit, just waiting to land a shot. But that's a huge proposition in front of him, metaphorically and in reality. Catches him again. I have to say, Ditchko is open to that left hook. Gets caught twice with it. That's good work from Medjidov. Gomez Ruzal, Medjidov, may have stumbled upon a weakness. He can just land something meaningful. We've just got over a minute left in this round. And so far, Ivan Ditchko tried to keep at distance, tried to work off his jab. Just try to have a little look-see, just to see what Medjidov can bring to this. Well, let's not forget the uh, judges have been scoring aggression very highly, and it's Medzadov is doing the stalking here. Dijko just hiding behind that jab at the moment. And this will be fascinating to see exactly how they score this. He's getting through with some good, clean jabs, Dijko. Dijko not able to really turn his man and work off that range advantage. Good clean shots, that big left hand again from Medjidov, I think will be decisive here. It may well be, it's so close this uh, first round between these two. Medjidov's just the busier of the two. So that's it, bell goes. The crowd cheer, feeling that uh, Dichko's done enough, but has he? Well, we'll look at the replay and you can see that left hand making such a difference here. Medjidov comes in, able to throw it, and it's blind to Ditchko. Not a clean hit there in that showing, but uh, he's had some good connections. Well, it's 9-10 uh, all the way to Ditchko. They're impressed with that long jab of his, the judges, all happy with the way he's scoring. Medzidov, they felt, was uh, no doubt aggressive, but struggled to get through uh, the reach at disadvantage. Well, Ditchko... He's got a couple of the greatest jabbers in the world in the form of the Klitschko brothers sitting up in the uh, VIP section enjoying this fight. No one uh, jabs like Vitali and indeed Vladimir when it comes to boxing. Now Ivan Dichko in blue. Medzadov, the world champion from Azerbaijan in red. He's one round down at the moment. The height and range are always going to be an important factor against Dichko. He's used it to good advantage. The judges like the evasive skills, and he is extremely quick for a big man, but he gets hit by the left hand again. Mezhidov rocks the head of Dichko. And that right hand of Dichko needs to come right up by his ear because that is not a tight guard. And he looks at his corner. Mezhidov realizes that's the key to the door. It could cause an upset here. And he's very patient. He comes in, goes under the guard, 
doesn't throw it from the clinch. Each coat, good left right combination. Thunders the right in, almost hits the sweet spot of Mezhidov. Mezhidov now starting to take shots coming in. Got to sacrifice a few to get inside to be able to do some work. But it's whether or not those few are going to be important. And uh, Dijko slightly looser, slightly freer in letting go of the punches, making the combinations work now. Again, that searching left hand, making life difficult for Mezhidov. He just keeps feeding him that jab. Medzidov starting to uh, breathe rather heavily now. He's done a lot of work to try and get through Dishko's jab. Is he tiring? He's taken a lot of shots on the way in, Medzidov. But we know there's power there. We saw him send Roberto Camarelli to the canvas in a semi-final. Just when you think all the upsets were over, up comes Medzidov. He's really bringing it now to Dichko. He managed to beat Omarov in the quarterfinals. A similar style of fighter, a taller man than him. But Dichko's doing a much better job of keeping Medzidov at bay, keeping him away. It's a clean right hand that uh, Dichko's making contact with. And he's slipping some shots there, looking good at the end of this round. work from Dichko. Oh, final couple of seconds. The bell goes. We have just one round left in this 2013 World Championships. Well, the president watches on keenly here. Will Kazakhstan hear its national anthem once again. Let's have a look at this. Look at the action here. Well, measured off. Powerful. Trying to come in, trying to bring the action. But great work, actually, from Dichko because he manages to keep distance and really take his man at range. Turns his body, really presents a difficult target and slips a lot of what Mezhidov brought to it in the second round. And it needed a lot of effort to do that. And I do think now that maybe the tank is running a bit dry on Mezhidov. Well, Dichko 18-20 across the board from all of the judges. 9-10, they all saw it. So... Uh, a pretty clear lead at the moment for Ivan Dichko of Kazakhstan. All he's got to do is get through this round, even if he loses it, not lose it too badly, and he will be the world champion. So we're underway. Final three-minute round in the super heavies at this world championship in Kazakhstan. Dichko of Kazakhstan in blue. Medzidov of Azerbaijan, the world champion, has... A huge shot on Dichko there, and he's going to get a standing eight with two and a half minutes to go. Well, he was absolutely rocked by that. I said that the guard of Dichko was suspect. It's the beginning of the round, and Medjidov could finish this. It's a left hand, and it's a knockdown! Oh, my goodness me. He's uh, been sent to the canvas. He's calling it quits there, the referee. The doctor comes in, and uh, that's it. It'll be a knockout. He's sending Medjidov away to a neutral corner. Dishko stands up and... Uh, well, it's been quite a uh, finish here. It's not the finish that uh, the Kazakhs would have been looking for. The Azerbaijani coaches give their man a hug. And, uh, well, Medzidov, I think he feels uh, actually sorry there for Dishko, who's uh, really went down heavy. Medzidov knew that that left hand was always going to be a factor. He kept it back in the clinch. He could have thrown it over the top, but he kept it back. He caught Dichko with it a couple of times. Dichko didn't respond, didn't bring that right hand up to protect the chin. And Medjidov, well, deserves it. They were two absolute rockets that came from the Azerbaijani hands. I mean, just unbelievable performance there from Medjidov. Well, concern from everybody, including the president, watching on, worried. And look at Medzidov coming over to uh, give him a hug here. Let's have a look at that action again. A cracking right hand over the top, sent him to the canvas for the first time. And then uh, look at that again. 
absolutely connected. Down went Ditchko. Well, well, if you come to beat a champion, you've got to beat him. And that's exactly what Medjidov did. And, uh, you know, to beat Ditchko on his home turf at a championships like this, it's got to be conclusive. And that was. Well, Medzidov, an incredibly humble world champion here. He's uh, not delighting, not pumping his fist. Quite the opposite. He went over to uh, worry about his opponent, who took two really heavy, heavy shots. Medzidov has quite some power in those fists. And I actually thought it was the left hand that was going to come into play here, but they were overhand right, and he landed them perfectly. And he was world champion in 2011. He still is the world champion it's knockout in round number three one minute and one second Dijko gets taken away by the doctor mega madrasal medzidov of azerbaijan still the reigning world champion so the men are coming out now for the super heavyweight plus 91 kilo class medal ceremony here in almaty in kazakhstan the 17th edition of the World Championships draws to a close. Mr. Sedek Konakbayev, Vice President of the Kazakhstan Boxing Federation and AIBA Executive Committee member. And look who he's joined with. Larger than life, the brothers themselves, Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko, two legends of the sport, still very much backing the Olympic boxing, Aiva's boxing, and uh, it's great to see them here helping give out the medals and flowers at this ceremony. It uh, really does add a certain dimension and shows you just how magnificent the World Championships are. It still holds a uh, a large place in their hearts. Vitali getting that silver medal at the World Champs in 95. Well, here are the podium winners, the bronze medalists, two of them, the losing semi finalists from Germany and from Italy. It's Eric Pfeiffer who gets the first bronze. He was smiling before his semi-final. He smiled when he lost. He's smiling even more now. As for Roberto Camarelli, two times world champion, former Olympic champion. He has to settle for the bronze medal. He's 33 years old, still near the top. And I hope we see many more championships with the great man himself. I'm sure there'll be a big celebration still back home with the Carabinieri in Italy as he is a policeman with the force. Here is the world champion, Magomed Rassel Medzedov of Azerbaijan. I'm afraid Ivan Dichko, who uh, got knocked out in round three, as uh, unable to enjoy this uh, podium medal ceremony so we shall now